Niggas in the city moving slow. 30, 30, 35, for the coat. All, all, all the real niggas keep you flow. Keep you flow. All right, so last time when we talked about this rapper, man, we were like, yo, who is going to sign him in 2018? Where is he going? Because this man has been dropped from Interscope, dropped from Atlanta Records. Where else? Still MMG, though. Still MMG? Still MMG, though. Yeah, MMG's been even on his EPs uh, that he's been releasing independently. And if you don't know who we're talking about, well, I mean, we said MMG, so we're not talking about Stanley or, or Rocky. Rocky Fresh. We're talking about <laughs> Falloran. <laughs> Wale, man, just signed the deal with Warner Brother, man. I mean, congratulations to him. Got another deal. Another deal. The EPs he's been dropping have been fire. Negotiations, that song's heat. Um, Stay in Power, that song's fire. Mm -hmm. So he's been dropping good music. Yeah. I just hope he doesn't fuck up and do some dumb shit like he normally does. Yo, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. They say third time's a charm, so... He's been recently talking about the only reason why he's not made it is because he's dark skinned and people like Drake and J. Cole are light skinned. So therefore, they're stars and he's not. So I don't know. He's kind of tweaking with that one because Kendrick's a dark ass nigga with nappy hair. No, but so, like he. No, but like I think Wale said he's like straight from Wakanda. Them niggas is not. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did say that some shit. Like he's <laughs> actually an immigrant from. He did say that. Yeah. Shit. Yo, Wally, you, you Wally, went out Wally. on a limb and said like crazy. <laughs> it's not like this guy has the wild African accent either. He does make like African music, but there's no one forcing him to make the African music he makes and yeah. all the Igbo and stuff he does. No one forcing him to do that. It's not like he sounds African either. Yeah, it's like cut the dreads a little bit shorter, my guy. People are going to think you're from Chicago. <laughs> like chill out, Wale. But uh... Yeah, it's just crazy, like how the whole. I, I wonder how the whole Warner Brother deal came into play. I'm pretty sure Rick Ross had to play a, a, a factor in it, because Rick Ross does have a. If I'm not mistaken, his distribution deal with MMG is with Warner Brother, because he or okay. he signed with them. So it's like Wally ends up at Warner Brother, where like Rick Ross has like a big deal with the label. I'm pretty sure Rick Ross just had to go in there and be like, "Yo." So I don't know if they really. Uh, I'm gonna get to the like. Did they really sign him off the talent off the EPs, or did they sign him because his big bro Rick Ross? I mean, I'm not sure how many people actually listen to the EPs. They were good, but I don't know if people were bumping them like that. So probably off just the strength of Rick Ross and MMG. Yeah. But Wally does make good music. His last album flopped, so it's only up for him. <laughs> I don't know if he can sell worse than he did last time. Yeah, he so, sold what, 21, 20 to 30? Yeah, I don't think he got to 30. Yeah, and I mean, like, I mean, Warner Brothers does have big rappers on, on their label. They got Mac Miller. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it, man. They got Mac Miller. That's it. <laughs> 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 I mean, I guess Wally fits right in. Yeah, he fits in right, right in with Mac. They were popping at one point. You now they kind of. Eh. Yeah, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, you're, you're expecting a, an album from Wally in 2018? Probably not this year, but definitely next year he's going to drop a new album. True. He hasn't dropped a bad album yet, also, by the way. You should check out um, the yeah. album about nothing. That was great. The stay in his last album. Um, sh I don't remember what it was called. That was okay. It was good. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't his best work. Yeah, it's like it's like a uh, Wally. Like I, we said this in our previous video before, but it's like Wally has that like Lupe fiasco thing about him. It's like Lupe has great projects, but it's like horrible personality. Yeah, it's just like, like you're Lupe and you're Wally, so it's like, hey, the quality's always been there. It's just connecting with people. I'm in the hood with niggas don't bother me. Started 500 in my car to get shot.